Right, come on, fellas, hurry it up. For God's sake, Margaret, remember what's in the box. I know, and I also know that they have to kept a certain temperature. We don't want any of them going off now, do we? Good point. We're high schedule, guys, come on, let's just get going. Listen, lad, listen to me, listen to me. Look, I'm actually having a slight cost for this. I am, because I am, I'm, I'm a retired civil servant, I'm a housewife, you know, and like, I don't, I, I don't know if I can do this. Look, Margaret, just remember the training. What would Murphy have said? Margaret, come on. Look, I've been through this on my own, and I've failed. I need you. All right, look, just let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, do you think we'll be able to pull it off? You know, Julie, I've felt so useless for so long. I couldn't believe it when Tony asked us to be part of this. It's the first time someone apart from you has believed in me. I can't even start to think of letting them down. You won't, Darren. You've got so much ability. Tony wouldn't have asked you if he couldn't see that too. Well then, the same goes for you. He asked you as well. I never thought of it like that. You know, though, I don't know if I'd have had the courage to do this without the training we went through. I know what you mean. What I found amazing was how little confidence some people had, even though they'd done so much. Take Margaret, for example. She had a whole career and then raised a family. Now she's with us doing this. Yeah, but she nearly backed out at the last minute. You see, that's what I call really brave. It's easy to do something if you're not scared, but when you are, and do it anyway, then that's brave. I suppose so. How are we doing time? Ten minutes, according to that thing. Do those things actually work? Seem very gimmicky. Not completely. I'd be lost if you'll excuse the pun without it now. You know, I'm all in with technology now. Computers, sat navs, MP3 players, the lot. And it wasn't hard at all in the end. Once you figure out how one thing works, they all pretty much work the same way. But try telling me that when I could have done with it. I was the last mortgage broker in the office not to have a computer. I often wonder if that's why I was one of the ones who got the chop when the axe fell. It was like I was living in a shoebox and I didn't even know there was a whole world out there. No offence, Margaret, I'm not saying you're living in a shoebox. No, no, not taken. Sure, I'm too old for you, fucking please. Not at all, Margaret. A young one like you, you've twice the brains I have. You pick it up in a flash. Do you really think so? Guaranteed. Look at the challenges you've had to face up to in life. It's like Murphy said in training. If you tell yourself you can't do it, you put one more obstacle in your way. Yeah, I remember that from the training, but the theory is harder to put into practice when you're the one out there doing it for real. Tell you what, if we survive today, I'll make it my business to sit you down and make a computer whiz out of you. For real. Right, we're here. Guys, we're here. Seems pretty dead. Do you really think they'll be swarming all over this place later? I guarantee it. I've been scouting this out for weeks. They'll be swarming all right, and we'll be ready for them. What if they come with us all at once? And we can't handle them? Yeah, good point. What then? Simple. We'll have no choice but to nuke them. No way. Absolutely no way. I have an ethical problem with that. Remember what we learned. Sometimes compromise and even sacrifices have to be made. It's a matter of survival. Look, I'm sure it won't come to that. He's right. Come on, let's get ready. We're running out of time. I'm scared. We'll be fine. Look guys, we've been over the drill. We know what we're doing. This is it for real. Let's do it. Take your toes to fire. Move your own. When you're ready, please. There's your change. Hey. I'm going to close. Here you go. Nice and warm. 
Lord. Yeah, I'm going to stop it. Kim's getting very young. Right, we've got no choice. We're gonna have to nuke them. Oh, to hell with it. Nuke them! Guys, I think we're in business. <laughs>